Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. Today's project is all about jasmineite and I'm going to give you some, hopefully, inspiration about plaques. Now I've done the selection of memorial plaques but also standalone pieces of art with positive messages. We're going to be working with jasmineite pigments and I'm going to show you one full process but at the end I'll show you some different variations. Now remember jasmineite is a 2.5 to 1 ratio. The powder versus the fluid which is the uh, <laughs> but put my teeth in 2.5 is the powder and the one is the fluid now when you add your pigments it is very sensitive so you need to keep the balance fairly right anyway let your imagination go and when we're mixing our fluid remember to add your powder to your fluid and you want that smooth batter like consistency we don't want any lumps in our uh, plaques or jasmineite but even though I talk about pancake mix, it is not food. Please do not eat it. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share if you haven't already. Consider being becoming a member where you get exclusive access to behind the scenes and me. And other than that, thank you to each and every person who has chosen to become a member or anybody that takes the time to share my art. Anyway, look at this yummy green that's coming. Now, this is the green that I chose for my son, Lloyd. Um, he passed away many, many years ago, but I wanted a colour that I associated with him from his nursery. And I'm going to sell these on Etsy and there's going to be different variations in colours and different uh, variations in words that you put on there. But I've embellished them with some of the little jewellery charms. I think that's the word you call them. And you know, put a little bit of positive messages in there because it doesn't always have to be a negative thing when you're remembering people. For me, I get peace in my heart when I look at this, but it's also a reminder that he was here and he ex ex existed. But again, this is not about being miserable. <laughs> this is just about showing you how you can change these plaques into many, many different things. I've created some that, like I said, have just got positive messages to me. Uh, it's also in celebrations of children or people that are here. Or just if you want to put something in your art studio, go for it. Anyway, what I've had doing now, you can see that I'm rubbing my fingers around these moulds. That's just to minimise the amount of air bubbles that's there. And because I'm going to be using one solid colour, there's no issues with me with that and I'm not going to create any mud. I think the other exciting thing about this is your bottom can become your top depending on which is the effect that you enjoy. Now there are some nice marbling effects that come on the back of this plaque but I wanted to keep it smooth for the wording because I use my Cricut Joy which <laughs> I've got learner plates all over me when I use it. <laughs> but um, yeah I get there in the end. But on some of the standalone pieces of art, I chose to use my bottom on display because that had the most interesting effects. Now, the more interesting effects, the more the words became invisible. But I didn't want to dis dis distract, detract from the beautiful um, complexity, but also interesting detail on the design. But if you did focus in on the words, it was a positive message, which you'll get to see at the end. Anyway, I'm shy and I'm digressing, but I don't care. It's my video and you're here to enjoy me just rabbiting on in the background, I'm sure. Anyway, with Jasmineite, when you're finished with your tools, keep some water nearby, give them a rinse out, get rid of it all fairly quickly. It's water soluble, so it disappears beautifully and they're good to go for the next one. Any leftover in your tub, you can put on some nice smooth paper and uh, crackle it up uh, so you can add it to future pro projects. <laughs> I'm just going around the edge here just to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. And the air bubbles at the top, if you've not used jasmineite before, you don't add any heat or flames to it. You just blow on it gently with your breath and it will remove any of those bubbles. Now, with my Cricut Joy, at the end, I didn't get some of my words placed correctly, but I thought just because these were prototypes and I'm revealing with you, I didn't want to waste anything by redoing it. This is really just to give you some, um, hopefully, inspiration. And if I have, let me know. Tag me in any old work. Join my Facebook group to show any of your creations. I'd love to see them. But also, leave a comment for me because it really helps me. So I will definitely go back and revisit this. I've also got some pet ones 
and I'm just going to work through different designs and hopefully they'll take off. It took me a while to work out what bling to add to it and how to get my rope so that it stood as I enjoyed it. But yeah, it's almost coming up to reveal time. You're going to get to see me demold them all, sand them all off while they're fresh out of their mould on my baking tray, which I still cannot find. I filed it somewhere since this project and I can't find them. So I'm going to have to buy myself some more baking tray. Anyway, I'm going to put some Sharon's Dodgy FM for the final bit of this video. You'll get to see a few different colour schemes that I use, but the process itself is exactly the same. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are safe. Remember to keep creating and keep safe. Bye-bye.